We are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Suriname is home to both two and three toad slots. Three toad slots are some of the slowest and seemingly laziest creatures in the world. Instead of evolving to eat more, they evolved to do less. They spend their time grazing on leaves that are believed to contain alkaloids with a property similar to Valium. So they don't just look stoned, they are stoned. The two-toed sloth is mainly nocturnal. Their arms and legs are all about the same size, while the three-toed sloth's arms and are longer than the back legs. It's very hard to determine the gender of a sloth, as there is virtually no difference between males and females. <laughs> Fancy that. They mate and give birth in the treetops, and they are pregnant between 150 to 243 days, depending on species. Who touched me? <laughs> Takes a while to look at you. Pietro is busy making a new movie. I'm busy with the boat check app and because we're on a river we cannot make start our water maker. So we catching some water. There's a lot of water. Look at that. It's just rain, 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 rain every day. We have to automate some of the water catching here. So it's <laughs> and it goes there into the water tanks. Oh, this rain is coming. It's right here. <gasps> ah. <laughs> it's a little bit cool. And it is it's like a tropic rain. So it's coming from here. It drops into the thing and it goes like this. And then over here I put it a, a strainer and yes check that water. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, so that's a strainer and with that we hope to catch all the insects and stuff that was on a on a roof um, so I think that's very cool we, we getting water from the rain and then we will later on if the tank is full we will just put a little bit of jig in, not a cup like last that we did last, it's too much, just a quarter of a cup. And we might be able to, we might be able to have a shower tonight, this afternoon. We should actually be showering I just now. had a shower right now and it was awesome. I see you guys are a little bit wet. Better? <laughs> this is insane. The river is coming, going this way at this moment and the wind is pushing us this way so Sisu is facing now so the wind is blowing this way, the river is going that way and we are sailing very bloody fast that direction and you will see we will start sw swinging and then we go the other way this is insane, check 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 we are going to turn because we're now on anchor and the bridle is now swinging us around just hope that the chain is not getting caught below the hull you see now this is how we were <laughs> Thank you.
like I said, they are trying to prevent that floating island from getting lodged in the boats. <laughs> but it's not an easy task. There we go. Another ironic bit is they're going to push it past and just now when the tide changes it's going to come back, come floating back down the river again. Okay, so the island is now all the way over there. There was the blue boat. I was here in front of the blue boat, or actually here somewhere, just before these balls. So they are carting it to get into the mainstream, not to come back this away when the tide turns. The never ever, never ending saga of the floating logs, in this case a tree, that these yattis are trying to steer in a different direction because it's heading straight for them here on the on the jetties because everything gets lodged here but we are at anchor over there so I really hope they take it deeper into the river that it doesn't lodge into Sisu Okay, so Frick and Paul from Ikigai also went out on Tipex to assist because after all it is heading our way or Sisu's way. When you share a river with one of these, all of a sudden the river becomes very narrow. Wow. This cup is a bit round, then it's not a dangerous thing. But of course if it bites you, yeah, you get <laughs> you, it, it hurts a little bit, yeah. When did we get those rubber snakes? Oh, it was to keep the monkeys off from Richard's no, bird. No, Richard's bird. Oh, yeah, I've got my shopping list to get a rubber snake and keep the birds off. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oops. Yeah. Piranhas had not. It was time to take out the e foil. Step one, lie flat. Step two, go on your haunches. And then step three, try and get up. All thoughts about piranhas gone. I know you seriously have to concentrate, but oh, Frick is a tall man, so it's not that easy. And eventually, success, you foil. Loads of fun to be had. Really nice. Ew, wow, there we go. Yeah, but it's right on top of the board, so that's cool. Yeah. There we go. He's going to be a pro at this. Yeah. yeah, if I stand like that at that low speed, I press the board into the water. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will never be able to stand that. Look at that. that. Look at that. You see, that's, yeah. Yay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Shit. Here we go. Sure. We are going for exploration in the Amazon's jungle. So that's going to be some fun. So Pietro is already waiting here for us. And Tuppies is already waiting here for us. Uh oh.
How cool is this? <laughs> Inside the Amazon. Ah! <laughs> it's like seriously cool. Ah. But a whole canopy over us. Look at this. It is just jungle. It doesn't stop. Pages in a book. Listen to the noises. Okay, Tipex's so motor is working, but we need to get past that obstacle there. Some serious maneuvering to get out of this tight spot. There's like logs like this one, that one, that one to negotiate. Just to name a few, we were lodged in between all those there trying to go all the way there but we just couldn't pass it so fun and games oh and I forgot about this one over here need to move my fat ass to the <laughs> stern of oh. don't destroy the jungle oh whoa 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 a dozen <laughs> You're going to swing us out of here. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that one is a problem. And now we're stuck on this big mother, yeah? Okay, what do I need to do? Back. Must I come backwards? Okay. Go. Check what we found. Oh. <laughs> oh, <what is> cool? <laughs> this was a no. Domberg Yatting Mooring Wall Facility. Need to do the plastic bag thing. But just look at this. 
Tomber Yati. I have a swimming pool and a ball and bring your shoes. Yeah, I forgot to oh. <laughs> always have shoes, not too late. Yeah. So let me go find the garbage bin. Okay. So this place is called Sea Breeze. And here's our other Yati friends. Lots of Aussies here. Hmm. So this little square is normally full of people and full of busy busy but because of COVID nothing. Okay so this is we now exploring a little bit of Domberg and that's one of the ATMs right there. That's where we fill up Sisu's diesel. <laughs> and just look at this house. Wow. <laughs> so we need to come and do some provisioning. And here is two supermarkets right across the street from each other. In Suez, you want to go by for the jungle. What a really nice hazy geese. It's like a cute, cute, cute hazy. Busy of the morning coffee, big current going for us, and look at that bridge. And we are missing all the morning traffic. <laughs> 